Hi, I'm Valerie King reporting for Bath City Beat and I'm here at the Anton Art Center where the work of students from across Macomb County is on display for everyone to enjoy as a part of the annual student art show. The Secondary Student Show has been going on for at least three decades and it was started by some volunteers here at the Art Center who wanted to make sure that secondary students, so grades 7 through 12, throughout Macomb County would have an opportunity to exhibit their work in a professional quality gallery setting. So they got together and they raised money to offer prizes and they sent the word out to schools throughout Macomb County and you know, this is it today. The show has many forms of artwork on display, covering everything except digital related pieces. The large variety includes photography, drawing, painting, sculpture, jewelry, metalwork, and collage. We had 1,200 pieces submitted for jury this year by about 800 students. Of those 1,200 pieces, over 500 will be on exhibit on both floors of the Art Center. This is the only exhibit we offer every year that takes over essentially the entire building. So on the main gallery level, we have grades 7 through 12 individual pieces are displayed. And then on the second floor community gallery, we have senior student portfolios are displayed. We really do encourage the students, if they feel like they can part with a piece, to go ahead and price it for sale. But it's hard for a kid who has spent maybe weeks working on a single piece, especially if they're going to be applying to art school. They don't want to part with anything, and that's we understand that. A lot of the photography and a lot of the prints are for sale because those are things that they can conceivably make another one of. And some of them are priced very reasonably, $15, $25. So we do encourage people to come in and maybe support a young artist in their career. The contest is open to any 7th through 12th grader who goes to school in Macomb County. This includes students who are homeschooled in Macomb County, along with children who live outside of the area but attend school within county lines. I think it's a great opportunity for kids to see, not only see their work on exhibit, but to see what other kids are doing. A lot of the students who don't get into the show, you know, maybe they're a little bit bummed out by that, but they can come in here and they can see what other students are doing and maybe that will inspire them to try a new technique. Maybe it will inspire them to try harder. It's also nice to see all the different schools represented. We know what the big school districts are in the county. We know who has more money to spend on arts education, but there's really a broad spectrum of schools here in the show. Um, it's good just to see everybody, you know, looking at the, the painting, or my picture and just commenting on it, so it feels good. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's an honor, really, because I made it into a show with all these great pieces, and it's fun and it's exciting because I might win, hopefully I do. The show is absolutely free and open to the public. Everyone is welcome to check out the artwork and find out who the contest winners, including Best in Show, Best Portfolio, Best of Grade, and Honorable Mention are. It runs through April 17th and can be viewed anytime the Art Center is open. What I love about this exhibit is that the students get to have their artwork in a real gallery. It's nice. A lot of the schools have art exhibits every year and you can go to the gymnasium or some other special place in the school. Um, there are different shows throughout the county, but ours is really the only one where you get this really nice, high quality professional setting. And art looks different when you see it in a setting like this. You really appreciate it a lot more when it's against this nice background and you really see the value of it. It's amazing to see the skill level that student artists from around the area are performing at. It's even better that their great work is being appreciated and rewarded. Make sure you come and check out the many beautiful pieces for yourself. For Bath City Beat, I'm Valerie King.